Hi, this is Jason Nash, and the following lesson is part of my Implementing Cisco Unified Computing System course. So now I want to show you what one of the UCS blades looks like and look at the internals. So this is a B200 blade, this is an M1, so it's a little older blade, but an M2 still looks pretty much the same. So just going through the components, first, up front on the, two, on the B200, we've got two small form factor hard drives. And so if we take a look, we can just pop these out. So you take this, that releases the lever, and out comes the hard drive. And then we just put it in and snap it back in. Again, given UCS, hard drives are very optional. Very few of our customers actually even run internal hard drives, but I have them here to show you. Then walking through the blade, the two gigantic copper things are the heat sinks for the CPUs. So these are Intel 5500 being the older gen, the currents are 5600, but dual CPU. Then we've got 12 memory slots. See here, we've got about half of them, or half of them full. And one thing to keep in mind is when you deploy your blades, take a look at what the memory recommendations are from Cisco or work with your reseller, because it matters as far as which, which uh, banks you populate, what type of DIMMs you use, because you want to maintain memory speed and capacity. So there are some guidelines around this, and there's really good install guides for each of the blade models that give you the supported configurations and the most high performance configurations. And then at the back, we have our mezzanine adapter. So I believe this is one of the CNA adapters. This is not one of the Intel VIX, or I'm sorry, Cisco VIX, though, like the M81, but they all look the same. And the way you install these are the two screws here, and you press down where it says press here to install. Below this is the connector that fits into the motherboard, and then you tighten these down. If this was a full width blade, it would basically be two of these, and you'd have two mezzanine adapters, you would do this twice. If you're only installing one mezzanine adapter in a full width blade, you want to look at the install guide for your blade and generation and make sure you choose the right slot. If it's supposed to be slot zero and you put it in one, it's not going to pick that mezzanine adapter up. So make sure that it's correct. So with that, we'll go ahead and slide a blade, and I'll show you how to install it into the chassis, and then we'll take a tour of the front end connectivity. So this is another B200. We're going to put it into the front of the chassis here. It's very simple, easy enough. This is with the cover back on. To take the cover off, you press this down and pull really hard on the top and jiggle it until it finally pops free. Uh, that's one of the more annoying things. But go ahead and slide it in. Oh, real quickly while I've got this out, these dividers here come out of the chassis for a full width install. So these come right out and then you can put in a full width blade. We'll slide this in. On the front is a thumb screw and a lever. Wait till that makes contact. Push in and then gently light, tighten the screw down. On the front of the blade are a couple of things. This right here is for a dongle cable. So if you want KVM, direct physical KVM or USB, uh, the blades come with this dongle cable. You plug in there, plug it into a monitor and a keyboard. And then we've got lights. We've got your alarm lights, your warning lights, network connectivity, the hardware reset button if you want to physically reset the blade, power, and uh, there's a locator ID on the front here too that we can activate via UCSM and figure out which blade we're actually talking about. So that's how you install all of your blades. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.